Django CMS is an enterprise web content management system. It's free, open source, and used by many thousands of organizations around the world. We are very pleased to announce the release of Django CMS 3.6, which brings full Django 2 support. This was not a small feat, as we had to update the add-ons ecosystem to provide support for Django 2 as well. All the core add-ons have been updated, and for reference, please have a look at our website, django-cms.org. Further core add-ons have been added to that list, including the well-used attributes field, Bootstrap 4 with a dedicated icon plugin, history, modules, and transfer. Our aim is to keep Django CMS as simple and clean as possible. Thus, new features are ideally released as add-ons. This allows us to keep the maintenance and release cycle faster for add-ons while focusing on the core functionality of Django CMS. We would like to highlight two specific new features released as add-ons in this video. Django CMS modules and Django CMS transfer. First, I would like to show you Django CMS modules. Here we have an example website running a simple Bootstrap 4 theme. And when clicking on the edit modus and opening the structure board, when adding new plugins in this mode while modules is installed, you will see here a specific new section with this icon marked. Here I could, for example, add a three column teaser and it will be added at the end of this page. If I scroll down, you can see here we have now three modules added that I can drag and drop around. As you can see, modules are some kind of gatherings of add-ons. So you can see here a full depth of various plugins visible in this page. These can easily be created by just going to the menu here and then choosing to create a new module. So you can basically create any assortion of plugins that you would like, create a module of them, and then have a reusable plugin anywhere on your website. A list of all add-ons or modules that you've created are here visible under the admin modules section. From here, you have them presented as kind of like a style guide. All the modules that you've added with sample content, with working images and so on. You can choose to edit them freely using the normal structure mode here on the right. For example, if I would like to change the text on the header, I can just double click and use the normal Django CMS functionalities. And you can also copy plugins straight from this view. So if you like to have a, what you see is what you get feel, just choose whatever you want. Um, we have, for example, here the column text. I can choose to copy that one and then go to any other page that we had previously, like our layout example, and then paste it into this section. Another new feature that we have been released as an add-on is Django CMS transfer. It allows you to export plugins, placeholders, or entire pages into JSON file. For this, we have a new entry here in the menu called Import and Export Plugins. In this case, I want to apply it to placeholder. I export this set of plugins, and you can see it downloads a JSON file. Then in my sample here, I want to create a new page. Let's name the test. And as a new page will be blank, I can easily go into the import functionality move that file over here and then import it and you will have all data present in that page as well. The advantage here is that you can easily export plugins in an entire placeholder. You can pick just simple plugins inside the plugin tree to export, or you could even go to an entire page to import and export its content, including all the placeholders. For further changes, have a look at our release notes on django-cms.org. Take Django CMS 3.6 for a spin right now on Divio Cloud.